Hi everyone, James Phelan here, and uh, welcome to my little segment of Where I Write. And I thought I'd start out here. I write in Melbourne, and it's, uh, it's winter here in Melbourne, and I write in the city, pretty close to home. And uh, I'll show you my office, so if you want to follow me, we'll track down here. It'll be like Scorsese in Goodfellas or something, one of those long tracking shots. Uh, at the moment, I'm working on my next thriller, and for me it's fun to sort of write in the city. It gives it, I think, a bit of grittiness and uh, I get to soak in all of what I see and what I hear and what I do. Uh, my man on the camera here today, special guest, uh, video recorder, he's my dad. I thought, who do I know who's not doing anything? Ah, my dad, he'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, dad. Uh, so maybe we won't actually show the building uh, where I'm working, just for the sake of uh, stalkers and all the rest of it, but we'll quickly pan in and uh, see where I'm going. Da -da 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 -da. Here we have an elevator. When my publisher uh, asked me to do this, she's like, James, quick, can you help us out? I was like, it's such short notice, I look like uh, Bradley Cooper today and not in a good way at the start of uh, Limitless when he's that washed up writer who can't actually do his book before he gets that wonder drug. And she's like, well, that looks different to how you normally look. How? And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's a dangling participle or something in there. She's like, what? I'm like, what? She's like, really? I'm like, why are we talking like valley girls? Anyway, so I'm doing it. And uh, this is where I write. It's a shared space, lots of creative types. And uh, we might just cut here and I'll track into, uh, into my little writing space. In we go. All right. So, that's my dad being artistic, looking at some stuff. I guess that's probably my dream writing space, but no, that's not where I am. I'm actually here. Uh, so yeah, as I said, winter in Australia, it'll be cold, wearing gloves, uh, and these are those cool gloves that you can use on uh, electronic stuff, on screens and things. Some sort of conductive material in the fibres, made in China, probably blow my hands off. Uh, so this is where I work, my laptop, my book, Portuguese custard tart, quite important to have sugar as a writer. Uh, coffee, caffeine is always important. Out here there's a lot of uh, different creative types, uh, designers predominantly. And before I was a writer, and I've been a full-time novelist for 10 years, uh, I started off studying architecture and working for a firm. And that was a lot of fun, but I'm glad that is now my hobby and uh, writing is my full-time job. So I'm just put my coat down and perhaps if you come around here please Mr. Cameraman. Uh, so for each project that I work on uh, I start off with a notebook. Uh, pretty much always the moleskin notebooks and each one is dedicated to each new book. So if I'm writing a, uh, a thriller which this one is for, it's the third book in this series, this is book number two. Uh, I will actually fill up an entire notebook of notes and that might take me uh, anywhere between six and ten weeks. A couple of blank pages there, it's always important. Uh, and it's everything that I think at the time I may need. So I'll start with an idea. So with the previous book, The Hunted, it started off when I was having a conversation in the US uh, with some of the guys who were on the Bin Laden raid and uh, we are talking about what was found in the compound and that just led into this sort of what if type scenario. Uh, you know, what, what exactly did they find? How and why did they find it? And uh, what are the ramifications of that? And that's how that book started. So in writing the sequel, which comes out in 2016 called Kill Switch, and that's all these notes here, I started thinking about uh, Snowden and the internet and the NSA and hacking and where we are now, I guess, and how we got there. So as a sort of broad brushstroke starting there, I then break it down. Who are my characters? Where is it set? Uh, what are the sort of machinations of each uh, 
different person within the story, uh, some of the settings. And I'll literally just make notes, do a lot of, uh, a lot of reading, non-fiction, and uh, I'll do that. I'll then close the book, quite literally, and start typing. So this is my writing computer. That is the office dog, Polly. And let's see if she can make a guest come here. Okay, so we're back. We had a brief, like, couple second interlude there of, uh, I was going to say sedating Polly, but no, she's gone for a brief walk uh, so that you can hear me. And I was just talking about how I go about my writing. So I have a, a laptop which I do all of my typing on. Uh, my process is that I start from page one and write through um, in terms of concurrently. I don't go off and, and write other scenes or one particular character at a time and then slot things around as some authors do. Uh, and when I begin each day, I actually read over my previous day's work and I do a quick little edit as I'm doing that. And that gets me back into the voice and the rhythm and the pace of the story. And then I write that day's work uh, and I do write every single day. Uh, so that's that, that's writing, that's my program. I've always got uh, music happening as well, uh, usually through headphones, and currently just smashing through a lot of uh, Radiohead, which is my go-to, I guess, in terms of background noise. Not that it's noise, it's great music, really. And uh, what else do I have here? Emails, that's always kind of important. But as you can see, my internet is off. So when I'm typing, uh, no Wi-Fi is happening. What is this email? Who knows? What are all these? Publishers, Hashed, all that sort of stuff, Scholastic. So I've written four series so far, two thriller series, two kid series. And uh, as I said, I'm working on the next thriller as we speak. And uh, the other important thing, which seems to get busier and busier with every year, uh, is my calendar. And just keeping track of all the places that I have to make appearances at. Now, I'm pretty sure contractually, before I go, I have to do a brief little read from something, and I might just read from the blurb uh, of The Hunted. Here we go. In 2011, SEAL Team 6 killed Osama Bin Laden. Now, four years later, someone is eliminating Team 6. One by one, they are turning up dead. Jed Walker, ex-CIA, is an outsider back in the game. That old chestnut. He's been chasing down a sinister code group codenamed Zodiac that the big guns, MI5, CIA and the Pentagon have failed to eradicate. But as Walker follows the trail of bodies, uncovering secrets and making connections he's not supposed to make, he finds the answers are closer to home than he ever imagined. Revenge is the obvious motive, but nothing is ever that simple in love or in war. Can Walker find who's responsible before the body count grows higher? Can he stop another terror attack before more innocent bystanders suffer? Who wrote this? When the line between the good and the bad becomes blurred, when the hunters become the hunted, only one man can save us all. And in reading that, I'm reminded that one of my initial thoughts with this book was, if there was a guy from SEAL Team 6 who didn't want to be found, uh, how would you find him? And that was really my starting point for my character Walker in finding this guy. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I might uh, have some coffee now, perhaps an orange from my garden, because if there's one thing that uh, writers enjoy doing, it's gardening. Why do we enjoy it? Because it's not writing. And uh, I'll get back to my writing. Thanks guys.